Oh. Hi. Um, now, some of you might already know me. Maybe you follow me on Twitter, or maybe you were friends on Facebook, or maybe we're even friends in real life. Um, now, I'd just like to take this opportunity um, to, you know, say thank you for everyone that voted for me on the Talent House website. Uh, competition. Uh, for those who don't know, I was nominated for a um, uh, an award for most influential photographer of um, 2011. Now, I, I didn't actually know that this was going to happen. I never, you know, I was not prepared for it, and I ended up actually winning by quite a considerable amount. And it's amazing to know that so many people out there really appreciate what I do and support me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this video and just say, you know, thank you to everyone out there who, you know, went out their way to support me and vote for me. Um, and, you know, just say thank you for your continued support since the day I started this. Um, now, <laughs> my friends are going to completely, you know, kill me for this, like they're gonna give me hell and really make it awkward for me. I know it's all really awkward, I mean I'm sat in a bathroom alone talking to a camera. <laughs> it's not something that I really do often, it's not something that I think I'm very good at. So um, I'll try and keep this as short as possible. Um, if you're easily bored, probably just leave this and just go somewhere else. Or if you're, I don't know, like, yeah, if you find me irritating, I'd probably definitely start watching now. Um, <laughs> now um, so the photograph that I won the competition with uh, was a photograph that I I did when I was 19 years old. I mean that itself was quite strange. Um, you know, being being entered into a competition now. I mean, I'm 25 now. So you know, having something from my past come into my present life and my working life, and you know, becoming this competition, it was a bit strange for me. And I and I, I, there is aspects about the photograph that I can't stand just because I know I can do it a lot better now. Um, and now, I, basically the, the photograph, uh, it meant a lot to me um, and it's, it's more than just, it was, it's more than just a bunch of umbrellas flying around in the sky. Um, it, it, it represents like a whole relationship to me um, and when I did this I, I, I was, um, I'd been seeing this girl on and off since I was 17 till I was about 22. Now, I was kind of like, you know, the rebound guy. Um, so every time that her and a, her and her, uh, this other guy that was in her life kind of, you know, had their downs and they split up or anything, she'd be on my doorstep. Um, you know, and I, and I welcomed it and I chased it. Um, you know, I was, I was completely head over heels for, for this girl. She was like my first love. Um, I would say it was unrequited, you know, but... <laughs> You know, you live and you learn, don't you? And, well, basically, we, we, you know, had our thing and it was on and off, just like her other relationship with her her boyfriend. Um, and, and yeah, well, so the photograph um, represents, like I say, my relationship with that girl. Um, I, I titled the photograph um, My Travel Plans I'm Staying In and it, it means to me I, I, I never plan on falling in love again. I, I, I don't want to fly, I don't want to, I don't want to go out, I don't want to, don't want to feel like this again. And you know the, the umbrellas that are really really far in the distance, they're, they're, they're representing times in the relationship over this long period where I didn't actually feel I knew her, like, and she was really distant away from me, and like, she'd stop talking to me, or she'd, you know, cut communication because she was with this guy, but I still loved her, you know? Um, and the times where the umbrellas are really close and they're flying through the sky and there's, you know, there's feathers flying from them. There were times when I, I was in love with her and everything was going great and we were, we were flying, we were in love, and the, the times when the umbrellas you know, dead on the floor and it's not moving, were the times when it was dead, like me and her, it just wasn't happening and I was depressed, but I still loved her. So the the umbrella always represented like my love and my feelings for her, and it was always there, but it was always like either, you know, 
far away and it wasn't happening or I couldn't see it or it was dead on the floor or it was flying through the sky and um, you know that's how you feel when you're in love, you feel like you're flying and stuff and uh, that picture just sums up the whole relationship and um, it was it was a very personal picture to me at the time and uh, and I never really told anyone on, on, <laughs> only until today you know this is the first time I've ever really really spoke about it um, you know and uh, I think I think I'd like to share that with everyone just because of how much support I had um, you know I just wanted to say thank you and I since then since the competition ended I, I traveled to um, Gibraltar in Spain and I, I decided to kind of recreate the whole photograph sort of thing but I do it like a series um, because it means something completely different to me now it's not about you know not falling in love it's not about you know this this unrequited mess of a relationship I once had it it, it represents a completely new meaning and, and these these are the pictures that I did um, this one was taken on the rooftops in Gibraltar and that's Africa in the background um, and I decided to use black ones just to kind of show that it's dead and I'm putting it to bed and like this is it, this is the final, this is this is it. Um, and this this picture here is a photograph that I did uh, on the beaches in, in South Spain. Um, and this this represents the same thing as well. Um, and this other picture here was done in the Spanish mountains again with um, Africa in the background. Um, now. I know what you're thinking, like, you know, you're doing the same thing again, but it's taken, like, a completely different, um, whole story with it, like, it's, I'm no longer calling it, I'm staying in, like, it, it's now my travel plans, um, and I guess the, the, the sweetest part about it is, is my current girlfriend did it with me, um, she, I mean, she knows about what it means, and, and I just feel like it's taken on a whole different story now, and it really is, about me travelling. I mean, these were done in you know Spain and, and and Gibraltar and with Africa in the background and stuff. You know, and I think it's quite cool how it's gone from meaning, you know, me me in a field in the middle of like Staffordshire, jumping about like a lunatic with my little brother and a tripod and a bunch of uh, IKEA umbrellas. To you know, and it was about this massive relationship, and it's kind of transformed into this you know, it's me and I'm in love again and I'm kind of saying like, look, you know, I'm, I'm over that and, and now it's, it really is about me travelling and about me exploring and, and living life again. Um, so, yeah, I'm no longer staying there and I'm, I'm travelling again and, yeah, th it, that's what kind of what it means to me. So, I, like I said, I felt that if there's anything I could kind of repay anyone for, you know, going out of the way and voting for me in this, and this competition was, it was just me basically explaining what it was about. Um, like I say, it's quite personal to me. Um, but yeah, so uh, well, I hope you kind of enjoyed the story and I hope that I haven't bored you too much. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for listening and, and thanks for your, your support and, and your continued support. It, it means a great deal to me. So, cheers.